Hey everyone, uh, I posted a question I think yesterday on um, side body stretch and how do you usually breathe in the side body stretch. And I got some great response and I wanted to add one of mine. And in order for us to understand how to breathe in a side body bend, whether it, that's standing or seated, we have to look at the anatomy of the ribs. In particular, we want to focus on the muscles between the ribs. So these are the intercostal muscles. And there actually are three layers of these muscles. So the external one, the middle one, and the innermost intercostal muscle. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on the orientation of the fiber, but just know that the external intercostal muscle is basically helping you to inhale. It lifts up the ribs superiorly, so basically towards the head and allows you to inhale, whereas the middle and the innermost intercostal muscles is helping you with exhalation. Now what happens when you bend to one side, you actually are stretching those external intercostal muscles even more with the bend itself. And that should allow you to open up more space on one side of the ribs. So this is usually the, the opposite side of the bend. So if you're bending to the left, you're opening the right side of the rib cage, And if you're bending to the right, you're opening the left intercostal muscles. And the reason that I was asking, how do you breathe in this posture is I, when I started doing yoga, I had challenges breathing, just breathing in this posture because I was focusing so much on the bend rather than on breathing during this posture. So here are my key points for you to keep in mind when you're doing this stretch. Number one, bending or twisting in general will help you lengthen the intercostal muscles. And what I invite you to do is rather than focusing on the bend itself, just bend gently and then start to breathe as if you're breathing in one side of the body. Now this is very experiential. You actually are breathing in the entire lung, but the sensation of the breath feels as if you are breathing into the stretch side. And over time, what this will allow you to do is this will even lengthen the muscles, the intercostal muscles on the stretch side even more. So this allows you to create more space. Now, one thing that can happen as it had happened with me when I was a beginner is I just could not breathe in this posture. So as I mentioned, I was focusing mostly on the extent to which I was bending and I was not allowing, um, you know, breath, and I was not allowing, not inviting a lot of breath work during this particular stretch. So if that's happening to you, if you bend and then you, you, f you figure out that you just cannot breathe, back off because you have gone too far. So rather than putting all the effort in the stretch, just gently allow that breath to press the stretch side. So really the lung is pressing against the intercostal muscles and allowing them to open. And finally, this is important because the more space that you create between the lungs, the more air you can inhale. So over time, this is how you build the lung capacity because as you keep stretching, strengthening and stretching your intercostal muscles, you're allowing more space to be created in the rib cage. And that's going to help you breathe fuller, freer. So try this. And if standing bend is difficult for you, then take a seated bend, use some support and focus a lot on breathing rather than just the physical stretch of the pose. All right, let me know how it goes.